Hello Freedom Family, I'm Frosted Fricks, or you guys can call me Jesse. Your guide to any software or hardware related questions that you may have in regards to creating that perfect YouTube video. Now then, if my name sounds familiar, it is because I've probably helped you with a recording related question in the comments section and any of George's, Anthony's, or Obit's recent videos. As a community team member, I have decided to step in and start helping Freedom answer some of the questions that you guys have in regards to how to make a perfect video, or how to use hardware, or how to use software. Now then, in one of George's recent videos, he talks about OBS, and I've been using OBS as my primary recording device for a very long time, and I want to be able to help answer any question that you guys might have. So one of the bigger questions being asked is how do I even set up OBS? And I'm about to answer your question. All right, everybody, we're going to treat this as we just downloaded a brand new OBS, and I'm going to run down to settings with you right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and click settings, and we're going to go into our general settings. I have my language usually set in English because that is my primary language, but you can choose from whatever language you really want to choose from on the list. They have a plethora. From there, we're going to go to video, and I have my video already set at the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960 graphics card, which is what is on my computer right now, but I have my resolution downscale to 1280 by 720 not to say that you can't do 1080p but for recording sake i usually keep it around here i then downscale that a little bit further to a 1.25 so it's actually 1024 by 576 but that's not bad because you can actually change that when you go to export your video from your video editor i have my filter set at lance coast which is the best detail you're going to get off of obs 36 samples and i keep my frames per second set at 60. from there we're going to go up to encoding now then, you want your max bit rate to be between 25 and 4500. Anything below 25 usually ends up pixelating your video. Anything above 4500, you might experience a little bit of a lag, but it will come out very crispy too in terms of video quality. I would say put your codec at AAC and your bit rate at 128. From here, we're going to go into our audio and make sure we have the correct audio device selected. I have mine set at my Blue Spark Digital, uh, and you can select them through here. I never recommend recording from your webcam as your webcam's microphone tends to be a little less optimal. From here, we're going to make sure our desk boost and our mic boost has a five to one ratio as your desktop will overpower your mic guaranteed. From here, we're gonna go to broadcast settings. Now this is where we would go to if we were going to be setting up our streaming but we're not worried about streaming right now we're worried about making sure all of our videos go to the right place i have all the videos exported into the videos folder underneath my documents and you can set that up by pressing browse and setting up where you want it to go from here you should be okay and ready to go now then you should be seeing a blank area right here we're going to right click in here we're going to go add scene now then you can call this scene whatever you want but for the sake of this tutorial we're just going to call it scene from here we're going to right click in here and what i want to capture is i want to capture my youtube that is currently open and have the video of me in the lower left hand corner of the screen so what we're going to do is we're going to go add window capture and again you can name this whatever you want but since we're going into my browser your browser is a window so you go window capture and press ok and then we're going to select the correct window so we're going to go down here and you'll see that the youtube deadline video that george did is available to be selected i'm going to go ok so if i wanted to see this i'm going to press preview stream and there he is george in all his glory and what i want to do is i want to put my camera over to the side here that is much like how George has his camera over to the side here so we're gonna right click here we're gonna add and then we're going to go into video capture device now mine's already set to Logitech HD Pro webcam you really don't have to mess with too many of these settings as again you're gonna be upscaling and downscaling a lot when you go into the editing process of the video so I'm just gonna press okay hi everybody it's me how are you doing so from here we're going to shrink me down to the upper right hand corner of the screen by pressing edit scene and here I go I'm getting tiny all right so we're gonna grab the sides and shrink me down sort of like how George has him as the only thing in the screen so how to do this we're gonna press alt we're gonna hold the s button over the side of the video and we're gonna drag it in we're gonna do it on both sides just so we can get me all in the center there now then I like to put myself down here in the lower left and I'm going to make myself a little bigger. And I'm just going to cut myself off a little there. So that's how we get this set up to be used. I thank you guys very much 
for watching this tutorial on how to set up your OBS software. If you have any other questions about any other software in the future, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below because I would be more than happy to make another tutorial for you. You guys have been great and I am so proud to be part of this big family that Freedom has made. Use your software and hardware responsibly and as usual and as always, game on!